Hello friends, this video on understanding numbers part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us see how exactly do we round off. Now there are certain rules, there, there is a procedure to round off any number. It is not that you can round off any, say you cannot round off 16 to 60. Similarly, you cannot round off 16 to 1. So there are certain rules that we need to I mean follow. So let's see how do we round off to the nearest tens. So let us take the example of 67. So here we are learning how do we round off to the nearest tens. Now when we are talking about tens, so basically 7 is at the units place and 6 is at the tens place. So this is a number which falls between 60 and 70. So when you look at 67, it lies somewhere between 60 and 70. Now approximately can you tell where would 67 lie? Would it be nearer to 70 or would it be nearer to 60? Now if this is 60 and this is 70, somewhere exactly in between them would be what? Would be 65? Because 65 is like midway between 60 and 70. So exactly in there at the midpoint would be 65. So we have 67. So 67 would lie this side or this side. Of course on this side that means 67 might lie somewhere here. So if you look at it, 67 is far away from 60, but comparatively it is nearer to 70, right? So therefore, 67 can be rounded off to 70 and not 60. Because sometimes people get confused that why is it that I can round off 67 to 70 and not to 60? That is because of this reason. Because 67 is more close to 70 than 60. So therefore, we round it off to 70. Now here we are talking about rounding off to nearest tens. Now it is also important whenever we are rounding off a number, especially the bigger numbers, it is also important that we are rounding it off to the nearest tens or the nearest hundreds or the nearest thousands because that decides where does the number lie because here we are talking about the tens. So we knew that 65 lies between 60 and 70. Let us look at another example. Let's talk about 93. So 93 again, this is the units place. This is the tens place. So this lies somewhere between 90 and 100. So somewhere between 90 and 100 would be 95. And where would be 93? 93 would be somewhere here. So here very clearly we see that 93 is more close to 90 as compared to 100. So therefore, 93 can be rounded off to 90. So you see in these cases, now it is not only that 90 can be more easily remembered, even for calculation purposes, uh, if you take 93, your calculations become more complicated and tedious. But if you take 90, it becomes slightly easier. So that way is also rounding off helps in many scenarios. Now let us learn how do we round off to nearest hundreds. So let us take this example 6789. So this is units tens, hundreds and thousands. <clears throat> now since we are saying that we are rounding off to nearest hundreds. So hundreds would be here 7 is at the hundreds place. So in terms of the nearest hundreds where does this number lie? So on the number line, if you plot something like 6700, 0, that is 6700 and 6800. Because you could have told that 6789 lies between 6000 and 7000. But you could have told that when we were rounding it off to nearest thousands. But right now we are rounding it off to nearest hundreds. So we will have to consider the hundreds place. So we will have to see Based on the hundreds place, what are those two numbers between which this number lies? So hundreds place, so it will be 6700 and 6800. Now we have to decide to which number it is more closure. Now exactly between 6700 and 6800 would be 6750. 
that lies exactly between those two numbers. Now you might ask that how do I find this midpoint? Now one option of finding the midpoint is you add these two numbers and divide by 2. So that's how you can find midpoint. The other option is you find out the difference between this number and this number to find out how far this number is. Similarly, you find out the difference of this number and this number to find out how far this number is. So basically, end of the day, you will have to find out where it's approximately where 6789 would lie. So now here you can see the 6789 would lie somewhere here. So basically this number is more close to 6800 than to 6700. Therefore we can round it off to 6. Therefore we can 6800. Now, let us assume that if I ask you to round off the same number 6789 to the nearest thousands. Now, in that case, you could have actually told that this number lies between 6000 and 7000. Right? And in between, the midpoint of these two would be 6500 and 6789 would lie somewhere here. So this is this would be more closure to 7000. So in that case we could we could have actually rounded this number off to 7000. So you see when we round it off to the nearest hundreds it is 6800. When it is when we round it off to the nearest thousands it is 7000. So basically if we round it off to nearest hundreds we get a more accurate value. I mean 6800 is more close to 6789 than 7000 is close to. Right? So basically that depends that to which place are we rounding off a particular number. Now let us round off to nearest thousands. So let's consider this number which is 30,089. So here you have this is this at the units place tens, hundreds, thousands and ten thousands. Right now when you talk about the thousands place. So in, the, in terms of the thousands place 30,089 where does it lie? It lies between 30,000 and 40,000 right now in between these two would lie 35,000 so 35,000 is like midway so where do you think 30,089 would lie maybe somewhere here 30,089 so you see it is very close to 30,000 and it is quite far away from 40,000. So therefore this can be rounded off to 30,000. Let's take another example of a bigger number. So this is 12,99,083. So this also we want to round it off So if we want to round it off to thousands, so in that case, what would you see? Units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, lakhs, ten lakhs. So when you are rounding it off to thousands, in that case, you, you would basically see that it lies somewhere between 12,99,000 to 13 lakhs. That is somewhere it would lie. So now when you look at this number, this number would lie somewhere very close to 12,99,000. And therefore, what we can say? So we can round this number to 12,99,000 if we are rounding it off to the nearest thousands. Now if we say that we want to round it off to the nearest lakhs, so in that case, how can we round it off? In that case, we would say that this number lies somewhere between 12 lakhs and 13 lakhs.
So in this case, what would be the midpoint? The midpoint would be 12 lakh 50 thousand. So this number in that case would lie very close to 13 lakhs because it is 12 lakhs 99,083. So in this case, it is very close to 13 lakhs. So we can round it off to 13 lakhs. So now when you compare these numbers, what do you see? Th these are nothing but rounding off. So it depends that how closely you want to round off a particular number, whether you want to round it off to the nearest tens or you, are, you want to round it off to the nearest hundreds or you want to round it off to the nearest thousands. So depending on uh, to what extent you want to round off, you would get a number that would be equally closure to that number. So let's say when you talk about this 12 lakh 99,000 83. Rounding off to nearest thousands, you got 12 lakh 99,000. Rounding off to nearest lakhs, you got 13 lakhs. Now, if you want to round off this number to the nearest tens, it would be 12 lakh 99,080 because 80 it would be the nearest tens. So, this is how you can round off the same number to various places. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.